Hi everyone. Today I would like to present our work, robust and asymptotically locally optimal UAV trajectory generation based on spline subdivision. My name is Rui Qinyi, and I come from the Department of Computer Science, Florida State University. Unmanned area vehicles, UAVs, are used in many real-world applications, such as inspection, search, and rescue. Below is a bridge inspection example, and the UAV is inside a very complex environment. Trajectory planning is one of the key components to handle such tasks. Trajectory planning have two steps. First, global search to get the initial trajectory. We can use tree search like RT or grid search like GPS. The left figure shows an RT example, and the right figure shows a GPS example. Second, we need to do local optimization to get an optimal trajectory. The left figure shows a GPS initial red trajectory, and after optimization, it becomes the right figure's blue trajectory. We are focusing on trajectory optimization. Trajectory optimization has two parts. The first part is minimize the dynamic energy. The dynamic energy can be jerk or snap energy. It can make the trajectory smooth, like the figure shows, and it's a good property for optimal control. At the same time, a dynamic energy is always a convex quadratic energy, so it's easy to handle. However, trajectory optimization also need to deal with collision, and the collision avoidance is a non-convex constraint. Like the bottom figure shows, the trajectory is inside a very complex pipe environment, and it may have collision at many points. We need to handle them carefully. Meanwhile, we need to satisfy no collision constraint at each point of the trajectory. So it's also a semi-infinite constraint. There are several existing UAV trajectory optimization methods to deal with this problem. One of the methods, simple set barrier function of obstacle. However, the method is no smooth and not easy to optimize. Like the left picture shows, they use some distance from work so to work so at, and as an input of barrier function. It's not smooth. Additionally, the wireless collision constraint, like the right picture shows, their trajectory has penetration with the obstacle. Another kind of method constrain piece of trajectory inside a safe corridor. The left picture illustrates their method. Each piece of trajectory is inside a yellow box, so their method is always safe. However, that kind of method restricts the solution space and may lead into infeasibility or suboptimality, as the right picture shows. Their green trajectory is much longer than we expected. In comparison, our method generates a trajectory that is both safe and locally optimal. The left trajectory are their trajectory, and the right trajectory are ours. You can see ours are safe, and ours are short and smooth. Our method's input is a feasible initial trajectory computed by global search, as the left picture shows. And our output is an optimized trajectory without collision, like the right picture shows. And our approach has three components. First, a primal interior point optimizer. Second, an adaptive trajectory discretization via recursive subdivision. And third, a continuous collision detection in one search. Let's talk about some details. First, 
a primal interior point optimizer. It uses convex hull to make the trajectory conservative and safe. This is the bottom figure. The dotted line is our trajectory, and the polygon offset it is its convex hull. And the gray polygon is the obstacle. If the convex hull is outside the obstacle, the trajectory is always outside the obstacle. So our method is safe. And we consider all elements from the convex hull, like points, edges, and triangles. And we also consider all elements from the obstacle. And we consider their elements distance in the barrier function. In that way, we can make the barrier energy smooth. It's good for Newton type method to optimize such energy. An adaptive trajectory discretization via recursive subdivision. In our method, we will recursively subdivide the convex hull and make it smaller and smaller. In that way, the convex hull will converge to the trajectory. And we also prove the optimization problem will asymptotically converge to the semi-infinite constraint problem. We can handle semi-infinite constraint in that way. About continuous collision detection in line search. Previous method always use exact CCD and it's a root funding problem. Like the right picture shows, it needs to consider many conditions and do a lot of exact computation. So it's slow to solve. We propose a conservative CCD method. Like the bottom figure shows, we only consider the convex combination of the motion, like the blue triangle. And we check if it has collision with the obstacle. The obstacle is brown triangle. And we get a result. It's conservative, but fast to solve. And we also prove that kind of conservative CCD can converge to the exact CCD. Our method is an iterative optimization method. In each iteration, we first subdivide the trajectory if needed. And then we compute a search direction of dynamic energy and barrier energy. The direction is always computed by Newton method. In the end, we do land search with continuous collision detection, and we can keep safe any time. Here is the illustration of our optimization process. During our optimization, the trajectory is guaranteed to stay in a constant homotopy class. And since our trajectory is always safe, in some applications, we can early stop to get a feasible trajectory. Here I will show some exam experiments. Our trajectory is the red trajectory, and the previous methods are blue one and green one. You can say our trajectory is very short. Here are more examples. In our table, our trajectory is always the shortest one. And then UAV to go through our trajectory also use the minimal time. By avoiding solution space restriction, we can achieve time optimality without time of allocation. Using different time allocations, our method converges to similar results like the animation shows. This video shows a simulated result. The UAV flies along a simulated trajectory, and the green trajectory is our computed trajectory. The UAV uses a simple PID controller. It means a simple PID controller can make simulated trajectory same to our trajectory.
That means our trajectory quality is high and good for control. In conclusion, we propose a local UAV trajectory optimization with guaranteed feasibility and asymptotically convert to the semi-infinite problem. Our method preserves the homotopy class of the trajectory, and we achieve simultaneously optimality in trajectory strips and time allocations. The QR code is our GitHub repository, and the website is also our GitHub repository. We upload our code and data here. Please free to use it. Thank you.